Today marks what one NGO calls Earth Overshoot Day. The Global Footprint Network says that's the day that humans have used more of Earth's resources than the planet can regenerate in a year. Scientists say the date is getting earlier every year. So what can we do to try and live with the planet's, within the planet's limits? Let's take a look at India, where a slum has become a massive hub to reuse old materials. This is one of Mumbai's major recycling hubs. Every day, 600 tons of waste finds its way to Dharavi, known as Asia's largest slum. That's more than half of the city's trash. By collecting waste, the city's garbage is considerably reduced. We select what's needed, sort it by quality, and sell it. This is how much of the plastic ends up recycled. If this stops someday, the traffic will come to a standstill. It's a delicate issue. In Dharavi, most workers in this industry operate without basic safety precautions. But right now, it's the only way for them to make money and for tons of old plastic bottles, aluminum cans and electronic items to be turned into new products. Reusing and recycling is becoming more important everywhere, not just in India. Because we're depleting Earth's resources faster and faster every year. The day when humanity has used up nature's entire budget of ecological resources for the year is known as Earth Overshoot Day. And it's calculated by International Sustainability Organization Global Footprint Network and York University in Toronto, Canada. It is a classical pyramid scheme. Our use of resources that we use far beyond like what, what it can regenerate. And we have somehow this collective understanding that we do as if it was fine. But we're fooling ourselves. As consumption grows, Earth Overshoot Day has crept ever earlier since the metric was introduced in the 1970s. This year, the day comes just over a week earlier than in 2024, mainly due to the fact that oceans are absorbing less CO2 than previously reported. The states that overshoot earlier tend to be higher income countries. For example, if everyone consumed as much as the average US resident, we would need five Earths to meet the demand without borrowing resources from the future. Some countries don't have overshoot days at all. Take India. If everyone lived like the average Indian, humanity could survive off the planet's resources. Overshooting also has economic implications. The fewer resources we have, the more expensive they become. And the more our ecosystems and climate suffer, the harder it becomes for businesses to function. So we are burning the candle from both ends. Like we are, we are increasing inflation and we are, de we are decreasing our economic prowess. But not all hope is lost. The key is to invest in systems that depend on renewable resources. Decreasing food waste and eating less meat could push back the overshoot day by several days. And of course, reusing, repairing, and recycling, like here in Dharavi, also extends our resources' lives. And Beatrice Christofaro is with me, DW's uh, climate reporter. Beatrice, you've looked at this uh, Earth Overshoot Day, this metric. Uh, if recycling places like the one we've seen in, in your report, uh, why, if they help, why isn't more? Why is it not more supported or protected? I mean, recycling could be better everywhere, but if we look at a place like India, for example, what we see is there's many factors at play, but they all go back to the stage is not prioritizing enough. So many cities just don't have the infrastructure for it. There's no separate bins. Sometimes there's no recycling facilities. There's no transport to get to these possible recycling facilities. Uh, because of that, there's also oftentimes not not as much public awareness of the benefits of recycling. And also for individuals, there's not as much, uh, you know, a financial incentive for the individual. Like here in Germany, um, for example, we have to pay a deposit on a bottle when we buy it and we only get that deposit back if we return it. So kind of incentives like th these are missing. And what we see is that a lot of the recycling ends up being informal, like we just saw in the report. Mm -hmm. So the state, it's involved, but it could be a lot more involved. Mm. Um, Earth Overshoot Day is getting earlier every, every year, as we've heard. Um, how does that affect us personally? Mm -hmm. So the idea behind over, uh, Earth Overshoot Day is to make it palpable to us, um, you know, just how much we're borrowing from the future. We're kind of in, in debt with mm -hmm. the environment. And the way it plays out for us uh, is that every year what we'll see more and more is that basic goods become more expensive because resources are becoming more scarce. Food shortages, water shortages, all these things could become uh, more common as well. And what we're also already seeing is that, of course, we're emitting a lot of CO2 because we're burning fossil fuels 
while we're also destroying the very nature that absorbs the CO2. Mm -hmm. So that messes with our climate and makes extreme weather more common. So what we'll see is more droughts, uh, more floods, more heat waves. Now, as you mentioned in your report, um, if we all uh, lived like people in the US, we would need five Earths. Uh, if we all lived like people in India, of course, we're a much, much poorer nation. We only uh, need one, uh, 0.7. Uh, why is there such a big gap? Um, as you mentioned, income, I mean, it's not the only driver, but it's a huge driver. People, the average American just has a lot more money to spend on consumer goods, on cars, on electronics, fuel, electricity, trips. The average American just has more money to be wasteful mm -hmm. than the average Indian. And then another factor is, of course, that India is super densely populated, uh, whereas in the U.S. it's a bit more spread out. So there are more people with big houses, which also take more energy mm -hmm. to cool and heat. They need more fuel for their cars to travel longer distances. Um, and finally, in India, a lot of people um, don't eat meat, which also makes a big difference. It could be for religious reasons, mm -hmm. cultural reasons. Sometimes it's also financial. Now... If I were to push Earth Overshoot Day back, what can I do? On an individual level, I think food waste is really interesting. You know, the NGO that calculates this uh, has said that if, if everyone in the world halved uh, food waste, which emits a lot of methane, which is a potent greenhouse mm -hmm. gas, then we could push o Earth Overshoot Day back by nearly two weeks. Of course, you know, we can't calculate this exactly, but it's just kind of the idea. It's mm -hmm. a huge factor. Um, this would need to be individual and systemic, but really the biggest change on a systemic level is shifting to green energies. So they say that if we um, generated three quarters of our electricity from low carbon sources like wind and solar, then we could push back Earth Overshoot Day by 26 days. Mm -hmm. So again, these numbers might not be as concrete, but the point is it could be a real game changer and that's what we need to focus on. Thank you very much, Beatrice Christopher. DW Climate Reporter.